This is the Farms.com Soybean Report, brought to you by Mycogen Seeds. Mycogen Seeds, driven by your success. I'm Holly Lucas from Dow AgroSciences. I'm a uh, customer agronomist, and uh, we're at this harvested soybean field, and we're going to talk about taking a soil sample. Um, after harvest is a great time to take a soil sample. Um, you just kind of want to be consistent if you're harvesting, if you're taking samples after you harvested wheat, corn, or soybeans, just be consistent and every year um, as you follow your rotations through your farm, you'll sample all your fields. So um, we're going to demonstrate after a soybean field today. And so we have our soil probe. Um, you can either purchase one or you can borrow one from your local retailer. They'll loan them out to you and uh, let you borrow them. And um, so you just take it insert it into the ground and then push down with your foot depending on how wet it is is how easy it's going to go into the ground you need a sample about six inches or 15 centimeters uh, that covers about the root zone of the plant um, and then you pull them out and you have a nice core of soil um, what you want to do is kind of stick to about a 20 acre range and uh, take one to two cores per acre so for a 20 acre field you're going to have somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 cores of soil you mix them all together in your bucket and then go in there and mix them up really well so they're all um, mixed together. You don't want one core that's taken in an area that's maybe particularly bad or, or, has a, or maybe has a really high soil level to throw your sample off. So you want to mix them up really well and then um, there's a, OMAFRA has a good list of labs on their website when you look up a soil test, um, how to take a soil test that will tell you where to send them and they'll have guidelines for how much soil to put in your sample, um, how they like it, whether they want it four degrees or just room temperature um, storage. So for the lab you're going to send it to, you want to follow their guidelines. So um, I'd recommend getting those first. And um, once you've got your sample mixed up, you bag it up the way they want it, the amount that they want it, and you can send it off. And uh, they'll send you back your nutrient analysis on that sample. Um, a good thing to do when you're out in soybean fields, and particularly while we're here, we're in um, after soybean harvest is a great time to test for SCN, soybean cyst nematode presence. It's the same type of sample as you would do for nutrient analysis. Um, you generally have to send off a second set of soil, um, but it's a great time. You've got the soil, you've got it in the bucket, and you can bag up a second sample and send it off and um, check for soybean cyst nematode presence. Um, the lab will use that second sample, they'll tell you how many nematodes you have or how many cysts are present in your soil and that gives you an idea of how much, um, whether you have SCN in the first place and um, the levels of pressure you have and then you can follow some guideline management. Just continue on. Okay. So uh, once you get your soil samples back or your soil test results back from the lab, um, several things you can do with them. There's lots of online resources to go into and um, input those numbers in. Um, a lot of the resources are on the OMAF website um, to know what levels of fertilizer you need to put on um, and, and the different options you have. Chemi chemical companies can give you recommendations for how to um, increase your levels if you've got a problem, if your pH is off, how to change that. Um, so there's many avenues you can take to eradicate your soil. The best thing to know is that once you know what um, what your soil is like, what the nutrient levels are like. You can make a lot better decisions in season once you've planted. You can make better decisions before you're planting, what fertilizers you're going to put on to help get the better crop off your field the next year. So um, like I said, I mentioned before, harvest is a good time to do that. Your, your crop has taken off the nutrients from that season. Not much is going to happen over the winter, um, nutrient level wise. And you've got lots of time to sit down, look at those results, do your calculations, and figure out um, the best way to proceed the next year to get the, the most um, yield you can get off the field. This has been the Farms.com Soybean Report, sponsored by Mycogen Seeds.